okay guys so getting right into it this is my hair my hair is looking so poofy because it's so grown um so i'm really happy that i get to work on it today this is the new growth that we're going to be working on as you guys can see yep that's quite a lot <laughs> so i'm happy to be doing this also i'm dealing with the west postpartum shedding right now so it's just all over the place my hair is literally just all over the place right now so i'm excited to spend today to retouch my hair you know just bring it back to life okay Okay. Um, now, also if you care to know, I'm going to be using Herlicious Inc's touch-up method. If you don't know who Herlicious Inc is, she is a relaxed hair YouTuber. She's literally a YouTuber that creates content about relaxed, uh, relaxed hair. <laughs> you know, just basically relaxed hair. That's what she does. So she has a whole video dedicated to how to touch up your hair and like tips that you need and whatnot. So I'll link it down below if you want to check her out okay now the first step to the relaxer touch up is going to be to protect the hair what you want to do or what i'm gonna do is basically protect my hair the part of my hair that has already been processed so today i'm only working on new growth because that's what you need to work on so you need to find a way to protect the other parts of your hair just so you don't have relaxer overlap or relaxer overrun and um thank you thanks to hellicious ink okay we know all these terms and these tips <laughs> so i'm actually really happy that i discovered her channel for the protection parts what you're going to do is you're going to basically protect the parts of your hair that has already been processed just so that it doesn't over process because it has already been processed so you want to use um conditioner and vaseline there's actually a protectant that you can buy from amazon i just didn't have that and a different one that you can use or a different option that you could go for is just regular vaseline and leaving uh, just a conditioner not even a leave-in conditioner just a basic conditioner so i basically just use the conditioner and the vaseline to protect the part of my hair that is um, already processed so that it doesn't over process and then I'll twist that and just put it away and repeat the same process or repeat the same steps across my entire head. Now, like I said, what this, this step is really important because it will prevent other parts of your hair from getting processed, the already processed parts of your hair from getting processed. So as you guys can see, I only leave the new growth out. So that way I'm able to just put the relaxer over the new growth and not over my entire hair. I mean, back home, I feel like uh, salons would just relax your full head even when you're doing a touch-up. And that's what I've always known. So when I realized that that was actually the bad way to do touch-ups and this is the best way to do touch-ups, I was like, you know what? Sign me up because this is it. You know, this is it. You feel like your hair feels so healthy after. So I'm actually really happy that I took time to do this. I'm not going to lie. It takes so much time if you want to do this. This whole process, I mean, like my entire uh, touch-up day took about two hours or two to three hours. If I'm, yeah, if I remember clearly, I think that's what it did. But also, if you ask me, I'll say it's key that you protect your hair. It's key that you do all these steps because if you want to see hair health, if you want to see that your hair is doing good, please just take your time and do this. So now this is what my hair looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of the Vaseline to protect my edges and my nape to make sure that um, I don't have any burns on my skin. And then now for the relaxer that I'm gonna use, it's the ORS, ORS, <laughs> ORS, okay? ORS, olive oil, new growth. Um, I've seen a lot of the relaxed babes on here talk about this stuff and how they like it, how it's not too much. So I decided to get my hands on it. Now in the package, what you get is the 
relaxer you do get the activator that you can mix in with the relaxer or that you should mix in with the relaxer and then you get your neutralizing shampoo and conditioner I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in and you know honestly I was thinking isn't that too much but that's what the manual said I should do so I'm just gonna follow the book okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that in thoroughly make sure that it's evenly mixed and then I'll apply it to my hair another thing that I realized is application was super easy because I took my time to do all these pattings because I have the patting on my hair it is so easy for me to apply the relaxer it, it was literally so easy for me to apply the relaxer I was wondering so if I didn't take my time to do all these pattings how would I have done the relaxer so I'll definitely say that if you have time and if you love your hair as much take your time do the hairlicious inks method of like patting your hair and doing the ideas and just make sure that your hair is nice and safe and protected and then do your relaxer it will save you so much um time and you know during the actual relaxer process so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the relaxer all over my new growth And now I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingers to smooth that over. I know people use comb, but my scalp is really sensitive and my hair in itself is naturally soft, so I didn't want to do too much. So I just used my fingers to smooth that over and I decided to leave it on for five. Not that I decided, the manual said she leave it on for a total of 15 minutes, which is plus application time and wait time. So I left it on for five minutes because I thought that my application time was longer. But guys, I couldn't even leave it on for two minutes. I couldn't even leave it on for two minutes because I'm very sensitive, like I said. So immediately when I start to notice something, like I start to notice, boop, boop, I'm going to go wash it out. So <laughs> that's what happened. I started realizing that my one side was beginning to just do a little burn burn. I'm like, girl, no, I'm not going to wait any longer. I can't wait for the five minutes because all my scalp will be inflamed if I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash that out and guys look at what the relaxer did. It did such a great job. Okay. It did an amazing job. Now the next step is to neutralize. Now for neutralizing, I'm also going to be using Helicious Inks method, which is the 5510. 5510 is basically you neutralize, uh, use a neutralizing shampoo. You leave it in for five minutes. You wash it out. And then you do it again, leave it in for five minutes, wash it out. You do it again, leave it in for 10 and then you wash it out. So basically that's what you have to do. And this step is key because it's important because if you don't neutralize your hair so well, it still leaves some of the relaxer in your hair. And over time it will be processing your hair, which will lead to breakage or shedding. And you don't want that. So you want to make sure that your hair is properly neutralized. So use as much of the neutralizing shampoo. Another tip with neutralizing shampoo is the more pink it turns, it means that you have relaxer in your hair and the more white it turns, it means that the relaxer is getting out of your hair. So I just do the 5-5-10 method. I feel like that is also really nice because it makes it easier for you to get all of the product out of your hair. And then I'm going to go in with the next bit. guys this is what the hair looks like after 
the neutralizing process and yes my hair feels amazing okay it feels so good except that one side of my hair was looking puffy and i didn't understand why but i know for a fact that my new growth was worked on everything was good so i wasn't even going to like think about that but generally my hair feels really nice the texture is coming back which means that the bonds are building again and i love that next i'm gonna go in with my conditioner um, for conditioner, I'm using the same conditioner that came in the pack. I'll use that and I just apply that all over the areas that I worked on, which is most importantly the new growth. And then I just work my way through um, my hair and then bring it down to my ends. You know, just the good stuff, okay? Nothing, nothing extra. Um, and then I'll leave it on for 10 minutes, um, cover it with my cap, and then wash that out. shampoo with my Tresemme moisture shampoo situation i actually have never used that before it was my first time so i'm not so familiar with the name if i'm being honest um but it's pretty nice is what i can say it is pretty nice um it's nice and like you feel like you know if you just i just think it's nice <laughs> but what i like though is this one this one right here is the tgin honey miracle hair mask this is going to be my um deep conditioning mask or moisturizing mask that i'm going to be doing today i actually got this from sally beauty the sales associate there told me that it was good and that she had tried it for hair and she's black and then i'm like oh my god okay i'm gonna try that girl because you're black i'm black it's the same hair <laughs> So I decided to get that and let me just let you know that I like that. It's something that I could, I, I might possibly repurchase, okay, except that I have, I have conditioners that I have to use. So I don't just want to buy stuff because it's good. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead to apply the leave-in conditioner to my hair and just making sure that I work, always work your way from the roots to your ends, okay? So that's what I'm doing and making sure that my hair, all of my hair has the conditioner. I love to deep condition my hair. It just feels really good. And also like doing it over freshly relaxed hair is like, what else? Now guys, see my nape? See how good of a job that relaxer did? You guys see that? It did so much of a good job. That's how you know that, okay, okay, we possibly could be using that same relaxer again, okay? <laughs> So now I'm just gonna comb that through, make sure that all my strands have um, the conditioner, you know, nice and coated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cover that with my cap, leave it on for a good 30 minutes. Not gonna lie, I left it on for like 45 minutes because I was just watching something and I wasn't doing the heat method. If I was doing the heat method, then I'd have left it on for like 25, 20 minutes-ish. But because I wasn't doing that and I wanted my hair to get like literally every benefit, I left it in for longer. Out of the shower, this is what the hair looks like. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I did all of this by myself. Like I actually touched up my hair by myself in a healthy way. That's on period. Now for my leave-in conditioner, I'm going to be using the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine leave-in conditioner. I've been using this leave-in conditioner for a long time. I love it. I think my hair loves it too. 
So I'm just gonna apply that and make sure to work it all the way to the ends of my hair because you don't want to neglect the ends of your hair okay they need to be fed as well and then now i'm going to go in with my hair moisturizer from the brand lusty um if you don't know that brand i don't know but it's a brand <laughs> she's a brand okay and then now the next step uh will be to trim my hair i wanted to go in and trim my hair because i hadn't had a trim in like the past three months i think the last time i had a trim was the last time i relaxed my hair which was not the best so trimming all of the dead weight off i don't, honestly don't care when it comes to trimming my hair i know people are very oh, oh don't cut my hair don't trim my hair i don't care girl i'm gonna trim it i don't i'm not attached to my hair is what i want to say okay i'm not the type of person that is like attached to my hair no i can cut my hair today and sleep tomorrow <laughs> So I'm just going ahead to trim my hair and you know just shed off the dead weight and then I'll go in with my styling. Guys, to style my hair, <laughs> to style my hair, I decided to use Rolex. I keep saying Rolex instead of Rolex. Rolex, Rolex. I decided to use Rolex just because you know I felt like oh I missed the whole Rolex days and let me just try Rolex to see, you know, I don't know. I just said, and this is how it turned out, guys. It was a total fail. I'm just going to let you know. It was a total fail. I hated it the next morning. This was actually the next day. I hated it so much. I was like, girl, no. Well, one thing that I did like is that my hair felt really nice and like it had volume. It had the bounce. But that's just my hair. I think I don't think that the Rolex had anything to do with that. Um, but generally, I, I'm not going to... I don't know. I'll use the Rolex to dry my hair. I think I still want to do... I think I still want to use the rollers to, you know, give my hair that nice blow dried look. But I'm not going to use the rollers to style my hair because as you can see, it was a mess. I was looking like the minister of, I don't know. But I tried to style the hair. It still was not giving. I'm like, girl, no, no, it's not working. I don't like it. And then I went back to use my straightener. <laughs> I went back to use my flat iron to flat iron my hair just so that you know i could also do a length check because i really wanted to see um like what my length had grown to and guys if you you remember my hair from three months ago right i'll link the video below watching when i first text sliced my hair or when i first relaxed my hair it wasn't this long i'm gonna turn the back so that you guys see because wow look at my hair it looks so good and look at the bounce it has body even my sister i think it's my big sister that same day and she was telling me that she's seeing my hair and she feels like my hair looks a lot healthier and a lot heavier and i'm like girl <laughs> I see it too <laughs> so guys basically that is it okay and my three months relaxer touch up plus length check plus trim plus you know all the good stuff uh, comment below if you liked it comment below if there's any part where you're like mm -mm -mm, girl I didn't get this you gotta explain to me I will do um, also like I said I will link Helicious Inks channel below so if you want to check her out matter of fact if you're relaxed I would advise that you check her out because she has really good tips okay um, and that's it guys I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you decide to subscribe and become a part of the family. And please give me a huge thumbs up. Very huge, okay? Huge. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, um, leave me a comment if you have anything nice to say. Okay, be nice, okay? And yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs> you don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks by Blue eyes smiling while you're cursing I admit it's worse